Okay, Fulton out, Hilliard out, Jamarco Jones out. Happy? You won't have any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Not true. What do you got, Jill? Coach, how did you feel the last couple of days of practice? Did you, were you able to accomplish what you wanted to the last couple of days? Yeah, I mean, I think we were able to start working the keys and continuing to work the keys and, um, you know, finished up here with the red zone. And, um, you know, it's a process. It's a long week. You know, I think we're ready to get back out and play again. You know, and that's, uh, that's what you're afforded in this league. You know, another week to, to go out there and, and, and fix things and, and perform um, because we only get one opportunity a week. How big a test is it, uh, you know, with, with Christian out for some of your younger corners like Roger and, and Caleb and so forth there? Always a huge challenge every week, no matter who's in there. Um, this is a difficult league, and, you know, we'll have to make them try to earn everything and, you know, find a way to, um, you know, get off the field, you know, see if we can make a punt and, and punt it for the last six games. So, How much does it help with uh, this kind of situation? A guy like Chris Jackson, who's had some experience, he's versatile too. How much does it Yeah, have played against him last year, and, you know, Chris will, you know, have an opportunity to play in the game and, you know, all those corners, you know, Caleb, Amadi, Avery, um, you know, Roger. So th that'll be a big role. These environments, like uh, what you're going to face on Monday, it seems like you guys, like, it makes you guys rise to the occasion. What is it about that? Well, I mean, I don't think you necessarily rise to the occasion. I, I hope you, you know, are able to, to rise to the level of your performance how we prepared, you know, your, your preparation is, is what is critical when you go on the road and making sure that all the small details are covered, um, that, that we know what we're expecting, which they, they do, you know, the, the crowd noise and how we're going to have to handle the operation, you know, at the line of scrimmage to, to be able to run and then make, you know, make some plays, you know, make some plays and you know, the tendency to, you know, to, to sometimes get quieter. How big a challenge, I guess, for the secondary facing a quarterback who can not only sling it but also extends plays like he does? Well, I mean, there's a, there's a route design, and then you know there's there's you know the quarterback play uh, extension that you know then they've you know they're taking off, guys are going deep, and he's got the arm talent to to be able to throw it um, as far as he needs to on the move. It's not like he's got to set up, and so. You know, that, that starts with the rush and the, and the plan and how we're going to be able to try to tackle them and um, know that the stiff arms come in and all those types of things and the pump fakes. And, um, you know, he's gotten us. He's gotten pretty much everybody. Seven okay. sacks last week, and they did it mostly with, without blitzing and things like that. How, how much of a challenge is that for your line? They have a good front. You know, they have a good front. They're, they're active. And, you know, again, we're going to have to be balanced and, and try to be able to do some things that just doesn't make it a drop back game. I mean, if it's a drop back game, that you know, they're really good, and then they proved that last week. And you know, we'll have to block them and, and, and try to do some things. But they're very good players, and they they rotate them through. They, they're very comfortable playing playing a lot of guys. Aside from the bodies they have up front, what's kind of the, the I guess the benchmark of Wesley Frazier's defense? Well, they're fundamentally sound. They're 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 um, great tacklers. Um, they're rarely out of position. It's always um, a great challenge, but you know you can try to learn some things that the backers you know, communicate with each other, and you know, it's a tough defense to go against. Has Helen Trail out? You have to kind of mix and match uh, in terms of who gets the reps behind there. Yeah, I mean we'll see kind of how it goes, but you know we'll, we'll see how it. You know, we'll have a couple backs up, and we've still got some guys there that have done it. So um, you know Dontrell had a. Had a big game last week, but you know he's not there, so we got to make you know some other uh, changes. How what is you guys Josh like going to be as, as far as like settling in another week in, in your program? Good. I mean, Josh is continuing to improve and understand how we do things, and you know our offense and the terminology and where he wants to play, and so it's been it's been good. But most of those guys, that's what we ask all those guys: is to prepare as starters on the practice squad uh, each and every week, and. Um, you know, I think most of those guys, I would say all of them are trying to do that. What Tack you guys McKinley. Like oh, go ahead, um, you know, just trying to give us, you know, some, you know, juice on the edge there. These guys have played and, you know, just worked him out to, after the injury last year. And, you know, it seems like he's excited to start 
incorporating himself into into our program. Rookies played such a big role for you week one, despite going on the road and also prime time Monday night. How much do you expect from them week two and also to build off, off what they did for your first game? Well, I mean, the expectations are the same for every player, whether it's a first year player or 10th year player. It's the to make sure that they understand the keys, that they're playing with, with effort and, and they're doing things that we ask them to do each and every week. And um, so that wouldn't change whether you're a rookie or, or a veteran.